Good afternoon, viewer. How are you? It's another vlog video yet again. In this video, I uh, want to do a couple things. Mainly, I just want to kind of get everyone up to speed on what I've been doing to the uh, the new Mustang in the in the fleet here, the '92. And uh, I'm actually en route currently to go pick up a new part for it that I found on Facebook Marketplace. Now, this new part pretty much absolutely this new part is uh kind of going to be a curveball for anyone who's been watching my last uh few videos and what my intentions are for the mustang and, and the two three turbo build so uh just stay with me here i'm almost to where i gotta be uh, to meet up with the fella make a exchange here and uh, hopefully i'll have a nice new piece to throw on the mustang so just hold on one moment all right so i finally met up with the uh the guy and picked up the part that I want to go after and uh, I'm quite surprised uh, not at what it is I know what it is I was getting but the fact that of the condition it was in I thought it was a brand new piece just because most of it was in the plastic but uh, turns out it's not the case I'll show that in a minute but anywho what is this mystery part that I have well here it is this right here, the good old B&M ratchet shifter. So automatically you're thinking to yourself, oh, Kirk, what? You're not manual swapping the Mustang? Look, let me tell you something. I wasn't, I was, I was definitely planning to, right? I would love to, and I may still do that in some point in the future. Uh, I do have a manual car, the Cobra, you know, and I love it. And I did want to do that. Something I realized about this Mustang in particular is that it does have the A4LD transmission, which is uh, manually shiftable. Um, unlike, so in the V8 cars, you got the regular AOD and you couldn't shift them. Like it, you could have it in first and if you got the right kind of valve body and I had it on the uh, white fox body have if you had the right kind of valve body if you shift it into second with enough throttle it would hold second gear and uh, you wouldn't have to you know you wouldn't have to worry about it skipping straight to third and then you know once you got out of uh, once you shift it into drive it would go into third and so on and then you had your overdrive you know that wasn't nearly as fun but the uh, a4 ld you can control every gear you can downshift, upshift, whatever shift. Now, yeah, it's not really great for the transmission. I do, however, uh, would love to do like a just a very, very light rebuild on it and, um, you know, get it freshened up. But I think for the power level, at least from the start that the car is going to be making, it's more than enough that it shouldn't be an issue. And uh, it still allows me to have that manual shifting um behavior but obviously it's an automatic it's not the same but it's still kind of the same engagement that you would get and that, that's kind of the plan right now so the money that i'm going to save on doing the the manual swap i'm going to put towards actually getting some of the turbo pieces together and or um starting to at least getting the chassis together you know i need to do subframe connectors i would love to at least still change out the rear end for an 88 and um, do a five lug conversion with a disc brake conversion. You know, there's still these other things that need to be done to the car uh, before I wanna really do anything else. So those things still wanna be, uh, you know, I still want done. This shifter here will at least allow me to have a uh, more um, connected feel with the transmission. It's not, you know, it's, it's a ratchet shifter. So you don't have to like worry about skipping up every tooth on the um, on the stock shifter you know so this would be a little bit more engaging i think for now just to make it a little more fun and uh just looks a hell of a lot nicer than the uh than the factory shifter but something fun about this is i was looking through all of this and something i realized in the instructions i thought this was just a a new piece but it just smells old you know when you get like cardboard or something it just smells old and and you know i'm looking around and i look in the directions and it's got a copyright date for 1999. so <laughs> this has been this is a very like an old old like someone bought it 
many years ago and never never ever used it so it's a pretty cool piece even though they still make them today this is more, one of the more older ones so works for me because it was very 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 good price and uh yeah so and now i can't get to go back in there we go that'll work great so that's kind of part of the update here and once i get back home i'm gonna shed some light on uh, a couple things i discovered in the in the car so just hang tight all right i'm home now and some interesting developments have taken place since i left earlier to get the uh the shifter uh one of those is i finally you know decided to get myself one of these this is the uh the gopro media mod microphone upgrade piece and uh yeah Considering a lot of stuff I do is audio oriented in terms of, you know, the, the exhaust clips and stuff for my videos. And since I use the GoPro for 90% of my stuff, if not more, uh, I thought it was probably a good investment to have better quality audio in the videos. Not to say that the onboard mic is bad on the GoPro, but this is definitely going to make it better. I, I hope so. Uh, so I'm going to Throw it on here and uh, let's see what it sounds like. All right, so, all right, so that clips there. And uh, let's see here. I think it does something like, oh, hold still, damn it. Nope, that ain't right. Still not right. All right, okay. It's girthy now. Yeah. Um, no, seriously, it, it makes the camera so much more bigger. But I guess that's fine. The only crap part is I uh, was using one of these little adapters here and I did, and this basically just clips onto the front of the GoPro and allows you to use a, uh, a 55 millimeter, um, I think it's 55, uh, thread it like, camera filters and stuff for like regular lenses not to say i use them much but eh whatever but hopefully the audio is better i guess i'll find out once i start editing this and uh yeah how about that all right let's uh uh-huh so what could be the other big news um in terms of what happened well something that i ordered back in november finally found its way to my home. Uh, it got lost in the sauce. Blue Bridge, lost in the sauce there with, uh, with shipping and um, it's finally made it. So, and this is a very exciting piece. So. It's good. So the spoiler for the Cobra finally came in. Finally got the spoiler. So parts for all the Mustangs today. Uh, I'm gonna quickly clean it up and I'm gonna throw it on the car, see how it looks. All right. I'm gonna do a little cleaning here. Yeah, that should work. There we go. There we go. That's that's good enough, I think. Something like that. Now let's actually put the spoiler on. That took entirely, uh, crap, I don't even know where to grab this anymore. Uh, sure. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's, uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Definitely keeps that aggressive look going. Um, overall, this is a nice piece. 
Especially for the money. Two problems I just encountered. Uh, the hardware they gave me that came with it, way too short, way too small. Um, didn't need, it just fell right out of the factory mounting holes in the lid here. If you were doing this on a uh, trunk lid that was didn't have a spoiler on it, then probably won't have an issue, but not for one that already has a spoiler. So while this isn't the best solution, I'm definitely gonna have to find uh, some countersunk bolts like what they had and uh, redo this. So, but at least just to mount it on the car and see how it looks. That's number one. Number two is the overall finish of the of the piece is not nearly as nice as I thought it would be thought is from what they claimed. It's not terrible. There's like really not any major rough edges, but it's not like super nice. Like I thought it was gonna be this really nice glossy finished piece, but it's, it's not. And then this is the other part is the whole bottom side of it. It's not even finished. It's just, it's just like the, the mold from the, from the fiberglass. So that's kind of annoying too. Um, I'm not sure what to do about that, but, uh, uh, I mean, like I said, it's overall a nice piece. I think with some additional touches, it'll, it'll be just fine. Sadly, there's no other companies that make the duck, uh, wing or duck tail or whatever st style spoiler for the SN95. So this was like my only option for that type of spoiler. Everything's always like the Celine or, you know, this, the, this, whatever it is, or the modified Cobra spoilers or some crazy stuff. No. So that, uh, that doesn't look too bad. See the whole car just looks rough now because none of it's coming together color wise. A lot of the features, you know, what's going to make the car stand out is having all the different colors. You know, having everything just black is not helping with the vision here, but eh, it's coming along. <laughs> Progress, piece by piece. That's why they call it a project car. Okay, so now a quick update on the Fox body here. So, uh, I've discovered some things. Uh, I'm not particularly happy about these things. See, I had to make a repair because this quarter window stopped working. So uh, I had to pull all of this out and like pull the seat back and uh, I had to pull the rear seat out and everything to access back here to get to the motor, window motor here. And in doing so, I found some spots in the floor that were uh, questionable. So, as you can see here, there's some massive holes. Now, these are, this isn't how it was when I found it. When I found it, it was, however, bubbled up and it was really soft, all rotted out, all rotted out. So, but it only goes to, and but see, it's whatever this stuff was. I don't know what this crap was they used, but it goes to eh, a couple more inches that way. And here, so you probably got about uh, 10 inches by eight inches or something. Same thing with over here. All of this is soft. The frame rails, from what I can see, look fine. All of that has to get cut out, of course, and, uh, and replaced, but that's not a super big deal, especially being a convertible. Um, this, is, this is definitely can be expected, so, but, other than that, the rest of the floor seems pretty solid uh, so far. Um, yeah, that was kind of the big thing there. So, but if I get that patched up, I'll just do a rear seat delete anyway and won't have to worry about it. The freaking back window here is just getting murdered. Oh my God. The cold, every time I put it down, it just cracks. I mean, I have more tape on here. I think it's stronger now with the tape than it ever was. So go figure. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There hasn't really been too much going on with this, um, but it's coming along. And while I have an update on the Mustangs, let me do get a quick update on the SHO. And uh, basically what everyone's interested in on this car is of course the, the exhaust. And just a reminder, you know, it's the, the special custom um, uh, X-pipe, you know, here. So one of a kind. No one else in the world has such a thing. Um, and I'm waiting on tips. I'm waiting on trying to get tips to finish this off before I make a final exhaust video of it because 
that's just that's it, it's not done the tips are going to probably change the tone ever so slightly so i definitely want to make sure i'm representing that piece 100 percent and when it's finished 100 percent it's not now so that's what i'm waiting on anyone who's waiting on that video please just be patient it's a lot going on and uh i'm trying to source tips that are that short very very short um, I could probably get some welded on very easily, except I'd just try not to spend that money right now. So I'm sure you can understand. Anywho, that's gonna wrap it up for today's vlog video. Remember, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you wanna see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, keep a lookout for the next video.